Hi folks, I'm State Representative Dave Paul from the 10th Legislative District. Over the past year, I've had the great opportunity to meet with many of you and listen to your concerns and hear what issues are affecting your lives the most. And I've worked hard to incorporate that feedback into good public policy. I've heard about the need for economic recovery, supporting families and working parents, promoting great quality of life and supporting healthy communities. And I'd like to give you a few updates on the projects we've been working on that we've got into the operating budget and the capital budget to help our community. We know the COVID pandemic has had a terrible effect on families and businesses in our community, and we need to give folks the help they need and rebuild our economy. The House operating budget does all of that. It provides $850 million for small business recovery. The budget includes key investments in healthcare, COVID response, supporting families that are hit hardest by the recession. It prioritizes building broadband infrastructure, including $155 million in the capital budget to improve broadband access in communities like ours. We know we need to do more to support children's mental health. And I've worked with healthcare providers and local leaders to develop a plan to do just that. Our budget includes $750,000 over two years to improve mental and behavioral health outcomes for children and youth in Island County. And it includes $52 million to help fund more school counselors across our state. We know the importance of local projects for our quality of life in our community. Our budget includes $742,000 for the Port Susan Trail. That's a major priority for the community of Stanwood. And Woodby Island, our budget includes $320,000 to help repair the Coopville Wharf. It includes $250,000 to help repair the roof on the Oak Harbor Pool. And finally, in Skagit County, we're working hard to help improve salmon habitat, and the budget includes $250,000 for the Riparian Buffer Program to reduce water temperatures and improve salmon habitat on the Skagit River. So I wanna thank you for taking the time to share your ideas and concerns with me. We worked hard to put that feedback into our budget, and our budget is a testament to what you want and your priorities in our community. Thank you, and as always, it's an honor to serve as your representative.